But this is going to be my message to British. Um, it's it's a message that concerns people in Britain that met me over the years, people from Britain that would come here uh, for more than two decades to visit this home here, this room uh, that would meet me all over Slovenia too. Uh, whom I have in fact promoted to degree uh, gesturing Slovenian party side to allow them to actually settle here, buy properties in Slovenia and so on, to include, to make Slovenian inclusion into Europe as strong as possible. No, no, I have to tell the whole thing about what went on in the MK Ultra. It's something that I was resented from Slovenian part most severely, but that's completely okay. There were worse things that happened during MK Ultra uh, because of what went on in 95 and 96, what they were doing here in Slovenia with me when, I, when they brought me here. Uh, it's yet a part I'm going to get where I explain when I in fact insisted to George Bush so that must have been like here probably gosh it was exactly 2002 it was George Bush who was here in Slovenia they had me in Slovenia they did something bad to me uh probably again in this Shmarieshke here, Shmarieta, very nearby. And we were going back toward the home and George Bush came, his group, his crew came from some other party. In the evening we were going and it was Borut Pahor, it was Slovenian delegation. Uh, I would go in front of them, you know, you understand me? In front of this Slovenian <laughs> people. Uh, asking George Bush if he possibly could nuke Slovenia, if he could drop a few atomic bombs on Slovenia. I wanted to know if American uh, military could nuke Slovenia flat out, basically. This is what I asked him uh, in front of Borut Pahor, Milan Kuchan and people like this. I wanted to know precisely the answers from him uh, they they were like in a total disbelief what they heard um, but I really didn't give a shit about their disbeliefs beliefs whatever it was I wanted a straight answer I wanted to talk business with George Bush if we could actually get a US military to flat nuke Slovenia out of existence basically well, that's the kind of stuff that torture at a partisan memorials uh, that the torture here in Shmarieshka to Plitsu produced. It wasn't exactly that I would go down in something like this. These people, the only thing they did is they, they anger hell in me. I have to tell this kind of stuff because this shit is video recorded, audio recorded. They got everything under MK Ultra audio, and when I say everything, possibly even video recorded. That's how bad this was. Um, it's not depicting me, not even my mental state. Yes, mental state under torture circumstances, yes. Um, but not my mental state, obviously. But this is how far Milan Kuchan and Borut Pahor have gone and started to scream at that opportunity. What I said, what I said, my God, it was fucking... Um, the only thing that happened was actually they realized what they did that day and they played down, they played down. They would not they would not publicize they would never ever in fact remind uh, of what I stated but I do remember it was on the way from Shmarieshka to Plitsa toward Novo Mesta at night time we were walking uh, and 
it was something that it placed George Bush into extremely, extremely, extremely uncomfortable situation. He said, no, we cannot, we will not. We will not do that. Um, it placed him in, uh, we, we wouldn't want to do that. And, and, and I, I insisted on why and wanted to know the answers and stuff like that. Um, as far as the British, this is, this is what Milan Kuch and this is what Borod Pahor, you know, produced here in Slovenia. This is, this is what they did. Uh, as far as Borod Pahor, Milan Kuch and it did happen probably two, three times that I did exactly stated here. Uh, but on other two occasions, that probably was not in front of the politicians like that. Uh, and, but the third time I did, it was definitely in front of them. Uh, maybe the people who observed that Slovenian, they always had a police next to it was always a police. They always had a police, they always had people that understood the conversation and in Slovenian and in English and in all other ang languages that I spoke, everything. Um, they, whenever a need for those arised, uh, they, they were probably embarrassed, uh, quiet, that would raise a barrage of questions like why what is this guy this slovenian guy asking asking for his own country to be nuked out what is how is this possible uh, but when i did this third time in front of them actually they actually disregarding them telling them like please step aside i'm talking to george bush and this and that he just basically fuck off i have a business conversation right now like this i treated them Man, um, I wanted to know the answer from him. The third time, like I said, it became clear that what went on in Slovenia with me under MK Ultra, uh, it was beyond impossible. So I think this is really, really extremely important for me to to clarify about basically what happened here in Slovenia. 2002 it was in Shmariashka to please. Okay, so I think the Slovenian people have the right to know how far did this thing gone. Um, for the British, that they should just buy a lot of housing here and stuff like that and so on. Um, I treated them exclusively, exclusively well. <laughs> Not only in Britain, uh, but right here in Slovenia, I did something that Slovenian people that observed me couldn't understand they couldn't they couldn't understand they did understood they didn't they did this they understood what they were doing they were traitors you're traitors to this country you're the worst this country ever produced you watch me you observe me doing this kind of stuff knowing you were involved in crime the girl from Bohin was involved in this crime against me uh, it was not okay, the stuff you did. And it's the stuff you wanted to portray me as, as Slovenia. You did a lot of crimes, you committed a lot of terrible crimes. A lot of inhumane crimes for which you should sit in the jail even for the rest of your life. I would suspend you the citizenship and get you in the jail. I would. And it will be for a lengthy sentence because this is what you deserve. You are horrible people. You are horrible, horrible, horrible people. There's nothing humane in you. You are beasts. You are beasts. Maybe the biggest atrocity Milan Kuchan and Boro Pahor did when they actually dedicated here a memorial in my backyard, like uh, Sergey from Belarus would take me there. And they would take me there and accuse me, and it was a, it's a memorial dedicated to the home guards, to the white guards, to the Nazi movement, and it's four with the with the last name of its names that are on there, sitting right here in Novomesto, uh, basically 
insist in me that I will be that other option that Slovenia will uh, use if necessary. Uh, that's the name offsets that that's also going to have Slovenia and this and that. With the, starting with the first name uh, Johan Alsitz and so on. And this is something I am going to press incitement in a hatred. Uh, it's uh, next to the torture and all the charges I'm going to press against Milan Kuchan and his daughter. The daughters of Milan Kuchan were involved in this stuff. That's another thing. He had family involved against me too. It's not going to be like this. Borut Pahar, his son, who was also involved against me, and his wife. These things are not going to go well. Uh, even if the two of you disappear, whatever, it's going to stay on, and I'm going to get this justice done. What you have done is beyond inhumane, and will demand from the city of Novomesto, from the Slovenian state, to put a huge memorial dedicated to my grandfather, whose name was Franz Alsitz. You're going to put the fucking memorial in the middle of the fucking city. I don't care if you put me. I don't give a fuck much about what your silence did very little for me. Observing me tortured and doing absolutely nothing about it did very little. My grandfather would be disgusted. This is a grandfather that supplied partisans in Kocelia with the medications during the World War II. He had his family, not only himself, at stake 24-7 here for five years during Italian and German occupation. You're going to put the fucking memorial in the middle of the city. It's going to be a partisan memorial dedicated to the Alsace Bustian. Do you understand? You're going to fucking do this. Because I'll fucking destroy this Slovenia for the, for the stuff you did to me. Um, I am so angry about what you, what you did, boy. I'm so angry about you, people. You don't even understand this. For the Charles, for the British, because it's a message for the British mainly. I am sure that you do remember this here, this this place here. You you said that if I'm going to be doing the stuff and and so on and so forth, that it, it, you will be visiting this here, this Snowdon Hill. It's in Wales, uh, and it was a, it was a news about this. It was tremendously a lot of British people involved in this MK Ultra absurd me here in ninety seven. Something like this. There was a news lately here also about um but Snowden, this is this is the last name from the Royals from London and so on. But the the thing about it is it's like this, okay. Charles had no reason whatsoever. This is this is what I am angry even more. He had absolutely no reason to be angry about me. I mean, this this individual from the days, just as the case was with Monica Lewinsky and Bill Clinton in '95 and '96 and so on, uh, he would bring me in private to Camilla residence. The same thing. I treated him, you know, alone with him, basically, all the time. Man, uh, I treated him like better than British did. And I did so every royal did for many, many, many years. Then I observed sometimes in uh, uh, 2000 and uh, probably 10, I don't know, I don't know. Might have been even earlier, that's why I said, that's what I refer to as, I don't know, that he would actually, for to me unknown reasons, uh, isn't even that he treated me very, very inhumanely. Um, he would, when, when he would mess with me, when he would, he wouldn't want to be around uh, just with me. This is what I noticed. It was like 2008, 2010. There was no, um, there was no, n not anymore any any kind of um, 
I felt there was where where was the trust? I mean, all this shit I did for the British uh, entire economy, British economy, was not only ran through me, literally through this case. It was what shocked me was that. The people flow, the, the, the stuff I created for the British, all this stuff, all of a sudden there was no, from the child's side, it was like, literally he stated, because the guy said to him, uh, we, two of us will be in private, he didn't want to be in private, he wanted to have somebody next to me and catch and he said that he doesn't trust me. So he must have done something really, really, very, very not cool stuff. They did really, really bad stuff. They did. Philip did too. Um, Philip used a journalist that would, you know, steer the shit. They tortured me and... Uh, all kinds of stuff that I would tell this journalist to get away, to go away, and he wouldn't go, he would just mess with me more, ask more, and uh, assuming that that was a royal property, and under MK Ultra, they titled me as a royal. Uh, this is like your land, basically like this. The guy would not, the guy would keep messing with me and stuff, uh, Philip would be laughing on the side and stuff. They, they were doing really, really, really crazy stuff. But still, there was never no resentment from my side. There never, ever was anything in respect to this stuff. Uh, I just want you to say that deeply, deeply, deeply uh, feel humiliated, betrayed for uh, everything you... I have done throughout this MK Ultra for you and for your masters so that they can treat me like this deeply deeply humiliated and you know your kindness about this known you and if it's you know this and that I, I have to kindly kindly decline your British kindness because to me it it seems to me nothing other than hypocrisy. I don't think that you actually feel for anyone other than yourself. Uh, and don't see myself as part of anything that will have to do with, uh, with a British based on that. You basically seems just like Charles, just like this royal family, you don't care about basically what happened. You just cared about, you just care about your own interests. You see yourself in basically political uh, disregarding. Charles became Charles was normal long time ago. He was I liked him, uh, but he became crazier and crazier. Well, the same thing was with the Merkel. The more time they spent with this Eastern European uh, Putin, Lukashenko around these people, Lukashenko especially, the crazier they became, the more this attitude that, that long time ago was normal, uh, it, it became, it became uh, wickier, you know, wicked, like wickier and wickier, wickier, the whole thing wickier. Um, to the degree that I can say I, I can't relate myself uh, in, in in their way, in their thinking, in absolutely any way, as I would have never ever uh, done. Uh, of course, anything bad to Charles, I never had a single thought that I would do something to Charles. I have to say, not even to Harry, not even to William, uh, and they did like really, really bad stuff, rotten stuff. Very, very bad stuff, very rotten, very, very treacherous stuff. And um, I am just, um, 
I'm not. I don't. I don't feel like I'm betrayed. I feel betrayed, but uh, I, I don't appreciate your uh, feedback for everything I have done for you, for the British, for you. Uh, you did not have any kind of queen, the one who was beaten up abroad, the one who stood up for you at times. Uh, paid a tremendous price, was tested in many ways so that you could get the deals done. I was. It was not Charles who drank whiskey, scotch. Uh, it was not Andrew who whored around. It was not, it was not Queen Elizabeth next to Charles in London that they did this. I was the one. I was the one who did go. I used English skills to promote Britain in China, remember this, in Belarus, I promoted one in Russia for the cost of beatings, and I promoted one big time in the US for the cost of beatings, so just that you know, but your feedback, um, you, um, you are insensitive I think that you're insensitive. I think that you just have your uh, uh, your own interest. That you're just concentrated on your own, uh, you know. You know, I dare you that you did not that you actually allowed for people like this from your point of view, from British to handle my case entirely because this from your side from the British this was a this is one fucking disaster from my point of view that I lost 27 years ended up poisoned like this with a broken spine this is this is this is not okay sleeping on the floor undergone mental asylum torture uh, live under the psychiatric threats was mistreated like this folks uh, your priority is, is you there is no other priorities you don't um, you don't see yourself in absolutely anyone other than yourself and maybe you see yourself in some others uh, but you definitely don't see yourself in me and uh, you don't definitely see yourself in any Eastern European. If you don't see yourself in me and you don't, you didn't, you absolutely don't see yourself in absolutely any Eastern European. We are just completely, um, according to your standards, unfit for existence. Thanks for watching this video. Today is sub September the 6th, 2021. Vladimir Putin and Lukashenko are going to be happy to see this video. And so will be Charles. He will rest better uh, knowing that I lowered enormously expectations uh, in respect to having to do with you this is just this is just not okay not okay if I was not if I was not acceptable for you there is no other Eastern European there is nobody ever will be and, and it's based on your standards you practically never gonna explain to me you're never gonna rationalize to me that this is just the way it had to be done this way there was no other way you will never ever succeed in any of this thanks for watching this video i think probably 2017 even probably 2017 charles was inside here charles was inside of this room they harrowed me man at times Pants knew nothing about what went on with me, really. They wouldn't let me sleep. I think that I would be like two days 
without the sleep on a row, drugged up, walk around like a zombie. In front of them, they wouldn't even know how uh, how fucked up I was. They went sleep. I went for a walk at night with certain people. It wasn't only Sergey that gave me company at night. They had other people too. Then the next day, they would have me in a room and asking me questions and presenting me. Let's say in 2017, they did with this news here, for which Charles and Harry, they tried to apologize. Um, they told me that for what I did for them, they would give me an island in Scotland, and this would be the island. Uh, not this one, no, no, no. Uh, it was some kind of island with a... As well, hell, as was mine, it could be this one here, which is like 300 people. Scotland, 80,000, uh, what is it, pounds, whatever. Um, basically, this is probably, I'm not even sure, I would say not. Let's go here, and we're going to do something like this. We're going to put the tools here, we're going to put here for the last week. And... It surfaces. Uh, I will explain to you how how exactly I know how I reminded myself. It was what is this here? Yahoo, uh, yeah. For sale, seventy, and it's filled with the wildlife and completely vacant of people. Um, they rational. Yeah, this is the one. There you go. They rational. When was this news? This was September the 5th, 2021, exactly the one I'm talking about, but it was on a Microsoft, I think, whatever news, I think it was Microsoft news, on Android, whatever news had delivered to me. Um, so they know exactly what I get, they delivered to me on my nose. Um, they rationalized that, I don't know, that I would leave Slovenia on the auto trader that was... Uh, It was a uh, red Volkswagen Polo 2003, you know. That they had one in Sevnica. As you know, Melania Trump is from Sevnica. She's from Sevnica. This, she's from Sevnica, you know. This is the city, Sevnica is the name. Okay, this is this thing here. This is just about 30 kilometers. If you go for a walk, it's just 30 kilometers from uh, from my city, right? So, novel method is very important for me to remind. Also, Charles, why not? Uh, Charles was rated a little bit as uh, a little bit insane, actually by the locals here, by my neighbor, Donna Collins, he kind of thought that he is a little bit crazy, because he said the only thing this man would do, he would walk and walk and walk and walk and walk, and it was a talk how Charles is like, there's no muscles, no, I was making fun of Charles, because he didn't have any kind of arm muscles, he didn't have anything, um, but they defended him that, that uh, he had a strong legs, Scottish way. I don't know how they call that, kills or whatever. Aha, uh, uh -huh, kills, okay. Uh, that he's got a very strong legs and this and that. You know, um, Harry and William, on the other hand, they, they were they were making fun of Dad um, because they deemed that he's eating too much and this walk about is not doing him well enough, it's not doing enough for him, that kind of stuff. And he just loved to walk back and forth, back and forth, so he would also go to this place he would go to this city here nearby with a group of people always, of course, 
to serve me. So he would go walk. We would go walk here. And, you know, Charles told me, go get this car. We're going to get you a car. And it's this kind of car that Charles likes. Nah. This, this kind of car, Charles. This is a favorite Volkswagen uh, Polo model from Charles, which idea he got because of my father. My father drove Volkswagen Polos always. And whenever he would come to Novomesto, he would make himself really, really at home in this house by using also father's car. Um, yeah, this is, this is how well these people were accommodated here. And nobody would ever mind. They were, they had absolutely everything, whatever they wanted. First class. It was better for them. It was more beautiful. They were maybe even more welcome here. They were in Britain alone. That's why Charles uh, really do not appreciate, not you, not Harry, not any of what you demonstrated. Uh, it's, it's not okay. It's not okay. Um, honesty is priceless, Charles. Uh, it, it's got answer to a lot of crazy, in my case, questions. It would answer a lot of questions. You did not have to go so far to convince people that it was just that I was terribly treated in Slovenia under MK Ultra. And it's why I was interested I even in this kind of option when you were laughing at this kind of option I would be somewhere stranded up in Scotland by myself and uh, in in the vicinity of I don't know near uh, I don't know how many miles it's just like 300 people I guess some farmers over there or something like this and it's something that appeared to me on that MK Ultra obviously that um, and they were asking me if I would trade all this for the for the place like this and I and I kept answering yes please this and that yeah I was driven insane under MK Ultra as I stated um, yeah Charles did arrange uh, some car like this with 240,000 kilometers the car had 64 horsepowers yesterday the car was for sale in the city of Sevnica um, as I was going to go and record one because I did post it the news about the poisoning concerning Charles too this is going to be video next one I'm going to do the news disappeared very very quickly too uh, the car no longer was for sale uh, what Charles like about this car in particular so that you will not think I am insane what he loved about this car he didn't care about other Volkswagen Polos, but this was his favorite. Uh, actually, it was this wheel, this this option here, this the the wheel. You see this here. You see when you say, if you wanted to know if I know Charles personally, uh, beyond what I was told uh, by the royals, uh, we're gonna put the news. Uh, and uh, you're going to read the news and you will never be able to prove anything this and that because we're going to put the news on here, 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 here. Um, is this wheel this is what appeared to Charles more than anything this is what he loved about it okay yep based on the stuff I told you right now that he would be coming in this city for 23 years uh, and uh, he would be just he didn't only mistrust me therefore regard me only whenever he would have his bodyguards around him um, but that he would actually go into the area where he would join to mentality literally uh, of Lukashenko that is to me completely completely fucked up that kind of stuff that you go and um, you know 
you start seeing me like a, like a game uh, that involves poisoning and stuff like this um, me and and when I remind myself you know something that we got to do some stuff that, that he's not going to get bored um, I'm going to say to the British thank you so much for your generosity you were so generous over the course of the years but really nowhere either that would be a Scotland, Britain or Canada where I in fact was uh, I did try to get political asylum there and almost got killed or Australia where, where you guided me where you brought me to for a decade and a half if not more uh, would I want to be really because this is your land this is it pertains to you every centimeter of it and uh, we as a human beings we are just designated literally to sleep on the floor and uh, you know pretty much be treated like this you know ba basically basically seeing through the eyes of your royals okay that's how you see it. and you see you see things through eyes of your royals so that's all i wanted to say yeah today is september the 6th 2021 Charles news on not only on a vehicle uh, on an island so it's, I explain all this connection uh, Charles triggered the news why let, let me explain to you something I posted this news right here this was the news I posted it was a news about Shmarieta okay look at it that was on september the 4th that was two days ago shmarieta this is this is this is if, when you go towards seunica you know uh we would always go through shmarieta right so you go from nama Mesa and you go here uh past this place here and then you have this here look shmarieta you see shmarieshka to plica shmarieta and so on and because the charles knew aha my dear british look this is this is Marietta is right here pay attention to this this is Marietta. this here look because the charles knew okay there you go you see it there it is oh yeah you can see this like this on a broad daylight oh there is that thing is still missing there but that's okay because the Charles knew that on the way to Sevnica I did I will recall I I, I will recall the death threats you know i he didn't have to know this i posted here about the death threats they, they knew about this stuff this is what was the most disturbing about this the, even the french knew about this stuff since man since like 98 they knew about what happened to me and they the french kept quiet about the French were the first to learn about what went on in Shmarieta. They kept quiet about. Uh, they wouldn't say anything. Okay, so the Charles came up with this news here. You know, this is wanted for me to be seen, to see myself as like a traitor to Slovenian nation, something like this. In that sense, you know, my dear British Charles wanted to fuck me also here in Slovenia not only in front of your eyes but his idea to do when to destroy person is to make persona the personality about one is not only as a rebel or something 
but somebody who just hates him hates family hates for completely unknown unfunded basically mentally ill reasoning and as I explained and demonstrated earlier that was not the case at all but the betrayal the backstabbing of the Charles of the royals of the London does not have limits so he did not restrain himself to the Britain only to you British but he took initiative to destroy me also in Slovenia in the eyes of Slovenian people who observed this here right here this obscene behavior of mine and how I they asked me if I would trade Slovenia for this island here and I was like yes yes the idea for him to trigger the news about the car about this Volkswagen Polo the grand idea was for me not to walk you know the really the truth is that walking my walking giving me ability to see where where they held me what they were doing with me um, talking to the locals obtaining proofs about it all uh, is very very bad news for the London family they don't like this they would prefer different um, uh, the people like this resort more often under the normal circumstances to depict in person as mentally unfit ill along uh, systematic poisoning along the demonstrating the whole thing like accidents like a course of accidents um, while through the period that is more wavy like on a brink of war something that they would take course of action they they go straight and kill people too so I know exactly that what's happening right now that in the eyes of this family I am very 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 much not wanted they they really really don't like me so that uh, that's all I wanted to do um, just explain to you basically the background for um, my view which I don't want to restrict myself only to Charles and his family the royals in London uh, but will expand my view also on view of the British on me which clearly goes totally totally disrespectfully or I should say at least through totally disrespectful eyes from British royals from London this is the, the, they, they see me totally disrespected totally totally disconcerting what I should interpret as a help because they draw up clue here and there uh, was actually nothing other than a slow death and destruction of my public image abroad as well as domets domestically right here in Slovenia they invested the best efforts to destroy me in eyes of Slovenian people of my own people this is not cool and um, I am here to tell you British uh, I do not appreciate I do I absolutely do not appreciate the four or five hundred euro car I don't know how much it was uh, it was a good bargain uh, with a 235-240,000 kilometers year 2003 with the 64 horses that disappeared immediately I did in fact video recorded that on Android uh, therefore was a thank you note from Charles 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 said that that's a wonderful car Polo and Charles the Royals involved in this stuff Royals involved in this car joking stuff said to the um, to the police 
stated to the police, can we get this car? Can we also get this a wonderful car? Oh, Volkswagen Polo, that's a wonderful car. Can we, as a matter of fact, could we get that car we saw in, in Sevnitsa? Could we get this car? Just want to demonstrate to you uh, something else here. They were the royals were were very much involved in this stuff. Now what I'm going to do? I'm going to do something else here. We're going to take this away. I'm going to take this away. There was in fact a government worker here for the state for the Slovenian state. Yeah, this is so beautifully, beautiful, beautiful. Incorporate this stuff into a goodbye note for all of you in Britannia, so that you can see how far uh, did this madness gone. Yeah. This is just going to be a good night, a uh, good night and goodbye note. I'm going to do it like this. This is a government worker who had, as he told me, somebody else involved into uh, the case. Uh, this here, this is, a, this is a Citroen C5, very much also in my range. And I'm going to take a screenshot because they had me here. And this here, this is a Slovenian, uh, they told me some kind of a government institution, something like that. Obviously this is like a play field here. But in the back you see the flag. This guy also was involved in MK Ocha. This, uh, this is a government, Slovenian government employee. That's why I said this is not a joke stuff I'm talking to you about. And that he's going to do this, that he's going to get this car, this is a really, really good car for me, that I should buy, the, don't forget to buy this stuff. You see the car? 110 hor horsepower Citroen C5. And uh, all through, this is not his vehicle, unless he took initiative uh, to actually totally, totally uh, expose himself. But the listing here states Royal Einfield, Infield. You understand? Royal Infield. So that you will remember this guy was, he loved Royal, Royal British from London. So just for me to, to for you to understand that British royals in this bullshit, in this my sleeping on the floor, cancer, breaking spine, searching car, doing a car search in Slovenia, are deeply, deeply involved. They finance this operation. And Slovenia state told me that psychiatric hospital Ganapoli was totally involved in this stuff. That they would give some kind of subsidiary. They would, they would, they would help people that would keep their cars for this opportunity uh, to present them like this, so that they they received a money like this and so on. So it, it becomes clear that the money is actually coming from even from London for this bullshit. The Czech elderly pensioners I met the other day too appeared um, along the police, two police officers involved in the case, um, repeating basically a scenario, the robbery scenario from uh, probably was even year, I don't know, maybe 2010 or something like this, because in meanwhile they had me in Czech Republic and this pensioner bitched me that I have to do this stuff, because they're getting too old now. 
to do this and the police officer didn't think that he was he just wrote it down and asked somebody can we do this can we do this yeah we can do this and so that means that uh, somebody paid for their vacation again here to come to Slovenia so that they are replicating the whole thing or royals from all London the welfare this shit this crime this is crime very serious I lost 27 years of life my dear British. From what Americans refer to speed of the snail, that was a Philip, Charlie, to the speed of light when compared to their politics that went on during my time, during my era, when I represented Britain overseas. And I think that's what Charlie and his family resented deeply deeply who would have thought that they would go so far to acknowledge me as not sane 